welcome back to my channel. The surroundings are a little different than usual. We are not in Oliver anymore, and that's because we are in Tennessee. It's my last day in Tennessee. I'm catching a flight in a little bit, but I wanted to shoot an Is It Hype video before I went, so this is me. This is my cousin Priscilla. I'm actually in Tennessee for her bridal shower, which was yesterday, and it was wonderful. But yeah, we're on our way to Avo, Nashville, which is about 30 minutes away. And I'm gonna braid my hair so I don't look like a poo bucket, you know, for those Instagram pictures, you gotta be fly. And I will see you there. Holla! <laughs> so we are here at Eat Avo, and um, they're closed, cause it's Sunday. So, we are going to a place called Wild Cow, and um, hopefully yeah. they're not closed. That's the deal. Okay, we are here at the Wild Cow, and it is open. You can tell right here, because there's a glowy open sign. And I thought this was really sweet. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's do this. So we are here at the Wild Cow. I think this menu is pretty cute, actually. And we kind of have to rush because my flight leaves in a little bit. We're getting the Philly. We are getting some Chipotle Seitan tacos. And we are getting, as an appetizer, because I was super curious, uh, spinach and artichoke dip. And if we finish this food with enough time, I think there's a vegan bakery like two doors down. And I'm really curious. Here's the spinach artichoke dip. Oh, that looks pretty good. Huh. It doesn't taste exactly like cheese, mm -mm. but it's creamy and lemony and artichoke-y. It's pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I think it tastes really good. So... Oh God, fuck me up. All right, we have we have a seitan, a Philly cheesesteak sort of hoagie thingy majiggy and it's covered in queso. We have kale, pineapple, coleslaw, which I'm super nervous to eat because I don't like sweet things, but I try new things. And this is a chipotle taco and some garlicky kale because Roberto isn't here to make out with. <laughs> So here is the taco. Yeah. Oh, on the there we go. If this is good, I can put the pineapple coleslaw in the taco. Because I have no boundaries. Tacos are Ranch is on point. That actually mm -hmm. tastes like ranch. Let's try some kale. Garlicky kale. Tastes like steamed kale with garlic on it. Me. I've had better things. The last thing we're trying at the wild cow is this juicy. Oh god. Billy cheesecake. The cheese has been falling up in the plate. It's okay. I've had better vegan Philly cheesesteaks. We are nowhere near Philly. I think the best Philly cheesesteak I had was in Philly. It was at Blackbird's Pizzeria. So we are done at the Wild Cow and it's time to answer the question, is it hype? Was it good? Would you come back? And Priscilla, come here. You can answer. This is a non-vegan. Let's have her answer. Is it hype? Yes or no? Yeah. I yes. liked it. Uh, yeah. First vegan place I've ever been to. I am a meat lover. And the tacos were delicious. 
it didn't taste like vegetables. No, it didn't. I really liked the spinach and artichoke dip that they had. That was really, really good. Yay! Okay, so this place was totally hype. Even the meat eater liked it and she would come back. I would totally come back. I would get the tacos and the pineapple coleslaw and the spinach dip. The Philly was okay for me. It was alright. It wasn't like my favorite Philly I've ever had. But yeah, since we are in Tennessee for only this day right now, we are also going to hit up a bakery called the Three Sisters, which is... Brownies and cupcakes! <laughs> which is like around the corner, so uh, let's do that. We are here at Five Daughters Bakery. I've never been here. A bunch of you guys recommended this place on Instagram. Here we go. On is cute. Nothing sweeter than family. Freezing a lot. We got a cinnamon sugar, a purist, and a chocolate. And I can't open it to save my life. So we have cinnamon sugar. Um, this is the purist. This is the chocolate. It looks really light. Maybe it's like a milk chocolate or something. And yeah, we're gonna try them out. Okay, so we're gonna do a really quick taste test because it's freezing balls out here. I took a bite of the chocolate for a photo and it's pretty good. It's not very chocolatey, but it's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. This I is like actually that. really good dough-wise. Um, a lot of vegan donuts don't have that fluffiness on the inside, and this is pretty good. Yeah, look at that fluffiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the one I'm most excited about. I'm a huge fan of cinnamon sugar. Tell me it doesn't taste exactly like an Aunt Annie's like cinnamon twist sort of thingy majiggy. Mm -hmm. Right? So good. Cinnabons. It tastes like cinnamon sticks. It it's does. Really oh, good. it does. It really does. Okay, I'm so cold, so we're gonna take one bite out of the last one. It's called the Purist. I'm guessing this is like regular plain vanilla frosting. These are really so good. Roberta's probably gonna be so jealous. That dome is really good. We're signing out because I'm cold. These donuts are amazing. It might be like the best vegan donuts I've had yet. It might be. If you like this video, video, let's try this again. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will put my name right here. And that's enough. And I'm going to sign out now because it's cold. Goodbye. Bye.